It's an exciting time for ASU football. So we'll talk about the excitement at ASU and the Wolves. Good morning, Coach, and welcome. Good morning. I've been following Arkansas State football since I was a freshman there in 1964, and I've never seen the excitement level where it is. You hear Gus Malzahn's going to be your coach. Very exciting. How many cartwheels do, did you do? I'm not very good at cartwheels, but uh, I was running around in circles. The excitement level has exceeded anything that I think any of us could have expected. The excitement here is off the charts. The day that we announced Coach Malzahn as the, the head coach, we talked about that next level. We talked about the level of excitement. We talked about it being a big hire. But, you know, it, I wouldn't be telling the truth if, if I said that I expected it to be like this. When you get Gus Malzahn, who uh, is known nationally as uh, an offensive guru, uh, who is known to be able to recruit, who is uh, somebody that all the high school coaches in Arkansas and the fans in general know and respect, then it's just heightened the excitement to a level that we've never seen before. We got to have guys that are leaders that'll come on, all right, and then and ignite everybody else. It's never been this way before, you know, and these people are so grateful and so thankful, but yet, I mean, it was, it wasn't 20 years ago that I, I believe that they were playing one double A football. When you go back into the 70s, uh, Arkansas State was a very successful one double A football program. It was great from 74 to 79. In fact, 75, they were undefeated. The program has definitely evolved through the years. We've had, we had some great years back in the uh, 60s and 70s when you had Coach Benny Ellender and Coach Larry Lacewell really took it to, uh, to a different level and height. The year before I got here, they played for the 1AA National Championship uh, against uh, Georgia Southern. Uh, had been highly successful and really had been highly successful in competing against uh, 1A schools. I played here from 1988 to uh, 1992. When I first uh, got here at Arkansas State, it was a vision to be D D1. It was a vision to go Division I uh, in football, and that vision was uh, mainly driven by Coach Larry Lacewell. But once Coach Larry Lacewell left, no one picked up the baton. No one picked up the torch to say, okay, here's what our vision is. Here's where this program will be in five years, or here what this program will be in 10 years, and then, hey, get on the bad wagon, and this is how we get there. Okay, now, we lack that, and that's probably some of the reason why we were not as successful as we were in the early years. In the 90s, it was worse than average. Uh, there was a period in the late 90s and early part of uh, the 2000, 2001, 2002, when uh, they went through a terrible, terrible run. And then it started to build a little bit with Bobo, uh, built a little bit more with, uh, with Steve Roberts. Over the course of the last 10 years, beginning with Steve Roberts, who come in here, and uh, I was fortunate enough to come with that staff, began to lay a solid foundation. Coach Steve Roberts did a great job uh, long term here as far as just developing the character uh, of the program with the players bringing in. Uh, with very little resources. The job he did, now that I'm here and knowing the dynamics of everything, is uh, I had a lot of respect for him before, but now it's really out, out the roof. You got to give some credit to Steve Roberts for setting a foundation and, and uh, at least being competitive and recruiting uh, some athletes who could compete. But then Hugh Freeze showed you can win. Hugh Freeze did an excellent job uh, last year of leading this football team and, and those games, some of those close ball games that we had perhaps lost in the past, we was much more mature, had a senior-led ball team, and was able to find a way to win. I think last year uh, really kind of opened everybody's eyes. You know, I think it's a tribute to all the guys who have been here before us. I think, you know, without those guys and, and kind of the people who have taught us, we wouldn't be able to go two and, or 10 and three last year. They did a great job of getting to the GoDaddy.com Bowl last year. It was a great accomplishment, a great seat. And it, it just sets the foundation for success. You know, the bottom line is this place has only had one winning season. And so our challenge now is to keep this thing going, raise it to the next level. But, uh, you know, with Coach Roberts and Coach Freeze laying the foundation, that makes my job a lot easier. Last year with our season, you know, winning 10 games, a lot of people started getting involved. And since Coach Malzahn became the head coach, it seems like even more people has got involved. And I've seen more Red Wolf things and slogans people have tried to make before he even came and introduced himself to us, like, we're going to jump on the Gus bus and just so many things. So I believe a lot of more people in the city are getting involved now that he's here. I've seen the billboards, you know, I've seen, you know, things of him speaking, you know, Little Rock, Memphis area. So definitely him getting out and marketing Arkansas State with the name that he has will definitely 
draw more attention. Right over the bridge, it's like a big poster board of him with his arms crossed. <laughs> it just shocked me, and I just knew from then that it's going to be a whole different season this year. It's good to have that, that sort of recognition, like just a, a big face like that everybody sees and, and says, you know, like, wow, I mean, he's, he's right here with us, you know. We've come a long way and um, definitely not stopping here. I feel like we're definitely on the rise and big things are still coming. Big things are yet to come. Coach Malzahn definitely came in. Like the first speech he gave to us, he said we're going to take to the next level. And, and you could tell just looking in his eyes that he meant it. Have fun playing the game. Listen to your coaches. Everybody listen to coaches. Your attitude is coach me, coach. Coach Malzahn has always stated what we will be. And, and one of the, uh, the greatest examples uh, that I, I've taken notice to that when we got ready for the spring game, he believed that it would be 10,000 people. There. So he went about it. He prepared like it would be 10,000 people. He, he crossed the T's and dotted the I's on everything like it would be 10,000 people. And people followed that to get the largest crowd we have had at, at this stadium in a spring, uh, spring game in the history, I believe, of the school. And I've and I kind of been a part of some of the history. Part of me kind of wishes that I was still a young guy who was just uh, thinking about where this program can go with Coach Malzahn, you know? One thing I could appreciate from being a player then that I can appreciate being a part of this program now is that the vision is, is, is clear. The expectations is clear. Coach Malzahn, he comes in and, and he said, we're about to take this thing to the next level. He clearly sets out his vision. And now the next thing they did is he said, this is how we get to the next level. Here's our plan, here's, here's our goals, and here's how we are, we are accomplished getting to the next level. So now every kid knows exactly where we are going. Everyone knows exactly what the goal is. So I'm watching you today, there ain't no loafing, playing hard. We're just trying to, to change the dynamics of Arkansas State football in all areas and raise that level. Uh, we got our work cut out for us, but uh, everybody's on the same page. It's an exciting time. You know, this first year, you know, new staff, a very young, inexperienced group. There's going to be some growing pains, but we are building the foundation. If we could fast forward a year or two, it's going to be a lot of fun. Just to see what's happened just in this past uh, six months or so is something that really I think excites me to know what can be and to know where we can take this and the response that we're seeing and and being a native Arkansan and being a native of Jonesboro it's just something that we've always known that potential was there we just needed the right um, fit and the right connection and the right infusion of energy and there was no better way to do that than to bring in Gus Malzahn as our football coach. I truly believe that uh, Malzahn is the man and I think he is committed to this program I think he's committed to the young people that he's recruited. Uh, and I think he's committed to a, an ever-expanding fan base that's really gotten committed to him. I see in the next few years the elevation of the ASU football program to uh, levels that we probably couldn't even dreamed about a few years ago.